Well, what's up everybody? I wanna to talk to all of you entrepreneurs out there for a minute, uh, and specifically those of you who are struggling to get and keep people's attention with all the marketing that you're doing. And I wanna share with you a, a new way of thinking about all the content that you're creating right now that is going to, first and foremost, help you create a deeper connection with the people who follow you, and then ultimately is gonna help you generate more leads and sales for your business. And now is particularly important time for that because we have a very narrow window of opportunity during this time of uncertainty when the bulk of your competition is either going to be shuttering its doors and going to work for somebody else or um, is just going to be struggling to kind of keep things going. And this, this formula that I've got is something that I've been using for the last 10 years or so uh, to successfully grow my company. And this is actually the first time that I've ever shared it with anybody. So stick around. Well, all right, everybody, my name is Jason Stapleton, and uh, before we get started and I teach this to you, uh, if you if you like what you hear and you would like to learn more about this, I am putting together a free video series uh, in preparation for a big copywriting clinic that I'm going to be holding later on this month, and we're going to elaborate on all the stuff that I'm going to teach you in this video along with a bunch of other stuff. So uh, make sure you go to mycopyclinic.com and register for that. As I said, it's totally free, it doesn't cost you anything. It can only benefit you. Uh, but let's talk for a minute. So if you are struggling to get your to get your content consumed, because we got a lot of talk these days about needing to produce a lot of content. Guys like Gary Vanderchuk are talking about, you know, the different ways you can repurpose it and the 60 pieces of content a day is something just unreasonably large uh, unless you have an entire team of people dedicated to creating content for you. But, but how do we as, as entrepreneurs make sure that our stuff is getting seen and more importantly that it's, it's getting consumed? Um, the biggest problem that I see from people who are creating content, entrepreneurs specifically who are creating content online, is that what they're putting out is not interesting. Now, I recognize how vague that sounds. It's a lot like saying, well, you know, hey, if you want your, co your, your content to get consumed, be funny, right? It's like, I don't even know what that means, right? What does it mean to be funny? What does it mean to be interesting? But I want to unpack it because it is, if you can change that one piece of what you do, it'll change everything else. So to explain the concept to you, I want you to think about our subconscious reptilian kind of like animal caveman brain that has been built over, you know, thousands of years. Um, one of the things primarily that our subconscious was responsible for back in the day was protecting us from danger. And so because the subconscious and our brains have so much that we have to process at any given time, um, we were reduced down back at the beginning of our, uh, of our existence to focusing and um, paying attention to things that were primarily a danger or an emergency. And so even today, now that the, the number of things that could actually kill us in any given moment are, are significantly less than they were before, our, our, our subconscious brain tends to work the same way. And so it asks a couple of, of, of uh, really important questions. First and foremost is, is this an emergency? Like, am I in, am I in immediate and imminent danger of death or great bodily harm? If the answer to that question is no, then the brain tends to respond by saying, well, okay, how do I ignore this entirely? Or how do I spend the least amount of time on this as possible? Uh, and that's what most people are doing is they're scrolling through their feed, as they're looking through YouTube, as they're watching the first couple of minutes of your videos and reading your blogs, is they're asking, dude, is this important? Like, is this an emergency? Is this something that I really need to be devoting time to right now? And if the answer to that question is no, then they simply ask at a subconscious level, well, okay, how do I ignore this? Can I just like stop and go on to something else? Or how do I spend the least amount of time on it as possible? And the sad thing is, the unfortunate thing for us, is that nobody has to watch your video. You don't have to watch this right now. Um, nobody has to read your blog. And if you are not giving them a reason at every step of your video to continue watching, the odds on them completing it are almost zero. So if the goal is to be interesting, how can we be interesting? Well, the easiest way to be interesting instantly is to make what you're talking about or what you're doing seem new or intriguing. 
So one of the things that will cause our brain to stop and focus on something, even for a, a narrow moment in time, is if, it, if we don't understand it. So if it seems interesting, if it's intriguing, or it seems new, and our brain has never thought about it before, or, or never been presented with the concept, all of a sudden that may cause things to kind of slow down a little bit and will gain the attention and the focus of your prospect because whatever you're talking about is now interesting because it's new, novel, uh, or, or intriguing, right? The second question that you have to answer in your content, other than, okay, now it's new and, and, and novel, is why do you have to do it now? Why is it imperative that you watch, listen, read now? so that they can't simply say, oh, can I ignore this? Can I go on? Can I come back to it later? Because we all know, we've all been in that boat where we said, oh, I'll go watch that later. And then we never get back to it. So those are really the two things that we kind of need to be focused on right at the very beginning. And once we've done that, there are three critical questions that you have to answer in every single piece of content that you create, whether it's free content or whether it's a sales letter or a sales video that you're doing. Okay? And if you will answer these three questions in every video, every piece of content that you create, you are going to radically transform the amount of engagement uh, and the amount of attention that you can capture from your ideal prospect. Here are the questions. First and foremost, why this? Okay? Why is this critical and important, new, unique, novel? Okay? Secondly, why now? Hey, yes it is, but why do I need to focus on it at this exact moment? And then last but not least is why you? And we save the why you till the end. See, most people put that at the front. Most people are like, hey, I'm this guy and this is what I do and let me give you my resume and now let me tell you why, how awesome I am and why you should listen to me. And then finally they get to the important meat of whatever it is that they're doing. The reason we don't do that and we don't start that way is because people do not care about you unless they believe that you can do something for them. Okay? And so the easier we make it for them to believe that that's the case, uh, and hopefully it's true, um, then the easier, then at the very end we can talk about why you, because that is a hurdle that you're going to have to overcome is, okay, I believe you, I think this is a new and unique and important, and I think I need to pay attention to it right now, but why are you the person? who should be talking to me about this? Why should I trust you? Okay? Now, how do we do this in practice? Well, if you wanna see how it's done, all you have to do is rewind to the beginning of this video because every single one of those questions got answered before I did that little intro snippet that you saw. Let's walk through it together. What was the first thing I said to you when you came here today? Well, what's up everybody? I wanna to talk to all of you entrepreneurs out there for a minute, uh, and specifically those of you who are struggling to get and keep people's attention with all the marketing that you're doing. Now, if you're not an entrepreneur, guess what happens? You're immediately like, this is not important, this is not interesting, this is not an emergency, I don't need to pay attention to this. And that's fine, because if you're not an entrepreneur, I don't want you wasting time watching this video, you won't get any value out of it. And if you are still watching this video at this point, I know with almost certainty that that's who I'm talking to. Now we have repelled a massive number of people when we do that, but the nice thing is the people who remain are deeply interested in whatever it is that you're gonna to bring to the table, or at least at that stage, or at least know that this is potentially for them, right? So now we've captured some attention. They're like, oh, that is me. Oh yes, I do struggle with that. Okay, now what? So now we've talked about um, why this. Well, at the begin very beginning, I isolated. Now I say, I wanna share with you a new way of thinking about all the content that you're creating that is going to help you get what you want. And I wanna share with you a, a new way of thinking about all the content that you're creating right now that is going to, first and foremost, help you create a deeper connection with the people who follow you, and then ultimately is gonna help you generate more leads and sales for your business. So I talk about why it's new, um, and I talk about uh, what it's gonna do for you. Okay, so now I've isolated the right people I want to talk to and I've told them I have something that will be of, of deep importance to them. Okay, so that's the why this. Then we go on to the next phase, which is why now? 
And now is particularly important time for that because we have a very narrow window of opportunity during this time of uncertainty when the bulk of your competition is either going to be shuttering its doors and going to work for somebody else or um, is just going to be struggling to kind of keep things going. Now that's true. It's very important that we have the greatest amount of opportunity exists when there are the least amount of players in the market. So during any recession, employing these tactics and getting really good at this stuff is going to give you a huge competitive advantage over anybody else in the competition. But there is a narrow window for it. So we talked about why this and we talked about why now. And then in the last couple of sentences, I said, and this, this formula that I've got is something that I've been using for the last 10 years or so uh, to successfully grow my company. And this is actually the first time that I've ever shared it with anybody. So now I've shared at the very end of that why I'm the right person to teach it to you. Because I have been doing it for a decade. I've been refining this strategy for a long time. I've been you know, cutting away all the fat, all the confusion. And I'm just giving you the, a very simple formula that you can use to radically increase your connection with your audience, your leads, and your sales. So in that opening bit, I answered all three of those questions for you. And now, if you're still watching, it's because I did all of the things in this video that are necessary to gain your attention. I don't know how many minutes we've been doing this right now, but if you consider the average person watches a video for less than two minutes, the fact that you're still here is proof that this process works, okay? So real simple, from now on, every single content piece that you put out. And I don't care whether it's a free video like this one that's just kind of demonstration of powers, or if you're actually writing a sales letter and trying to con or at a sales meeting and you're trying to convince somebody to buy your product. If you will answer those three questions and make sure those are answered at the right, right up front of any video that you do, you are going to be light years ahead of anybody else who's trying to create the mountain of noise that's out there trying to create uh, buzz and get traction for their videos and ultimately it's going to allow you to capture market share and and create a much deeper and closer relationship with the people who follow you and as we know once we've overcome the hurdle of trust and authority now all of a sudden convincing them that what we have would be a value to them is uh, is almost a no-brainer so anyway that's a really short and simple way of explaining the concept of content creation that will help you immensely as you go out and try and gain uh gain some traction and gain people's attention and as i said if you want a much more detailed and an overview of this and, and how we actually do this um, then I want to invite you to go to mycopyclinic.com and just sign up there. The videos are going to be free. I am, I'm not asking anything. Um, I just want you to understand this stuff better. And I'm doing this, this video series because I want to... I want those of you who are going to join the copywriting clinic that I'm holding to have a basis of understanding when we start. That way I don't have to start from ground, ground zero when we go to the clinic. Um, but I said, no pressure there. I don't care if you join or not. Just go sign up so you can get the free videos. MyCopyClinic.com. Thanks so much, guys. Appreciate it. And leave me a comment below. When you go out and you use this, let me know what kind of effect it had on your ability to communicate. What was the increase in traction that you got in the comments, uh, the shares and stuff? Um, help me understand better how you're employing this and, uh, and using it to help grow your business. So thanks so much, guys. Talk soon.